ladies and gentlemen, how you all doing? This is Connor Work. And I'm Ring Roo. Hello, hello, hello. And folks, it's been a long time coming, but we are in it. This is the postseason. We can't tell you what round this is, but we can effectively tell you this is the postseason for the Season 2 Steel Division League. Rang, who do we have, and what, for what, for that matter, are the rules for this? So, on left-hand side in blue, we have ourselves Dinster as the second French Armour Division, and on the right-hand side, we have ourselves Eugene as the ninth Panzer Division. So, all the previous SC League Season 2 matches were group stages, which was pretty much like a round drop, and everyone played everybody, and you get points, and pretty much the top players in each of the uh, divisions like Asia, European, mm -hmm. and North America, have moved on now to the final stages, where it's best of three knockouts all the way to the finals. This is one of those matches uh, against Eugene and Denster, and I can confidently say that the winner of this match will be moving on to the next round. That is definitely good to hear, and we do definitely have two of the top players here. Mm -hmm. Um. Interesting. We haven't seen a lot of French in recent weeks. No, we haven't. I, I really like seeing French quite a lot. As they, they can definitely pull their rate quite well. I mean, you always see, like, like second panzer, right, Khan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people love second panzer. Well, well f French is like second panzer. It, it does second panzer things, but in a, in a French way, mon dieu. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. I'm actually really surprised to always... <laughs> Actually, I was thinking so hard when you were like second fr second blind day, and I was like, wait a second, is it the first division? Like that's how long it's been since we've seen this division. I know it's uh, the, I I like him a lot. They're a bit they have, they have difficulties, like especially with like the infantry. Mm -hmm. the, you have the veteran chief, all of the tanks and armored fighting vehicles. Which exactly, is lovely. lovely. Exactly, and that was one of the things I was going to make the comment about myself. We're going to get the last few seconds of this intro going on here. They you said they let the second Panzer, but. Uh, allied version and and almost like i hate to say it but they actually might mm -hmm. out ton the second panzer at least early on yeah they have more units early mm -hmm. on compared to second panzer well, mm -hmm. I mean, like kind of i guess it's it, it can be rather difficult but it's a very fair matchup i think having True. seen a second versus a second on second i think would be pretty fair. I haven't actually really seen him, and I'm playing a run v1 in a bit, so mm -hmm. I think that's something I have to see, like, physically. But just looking at deployment lines, uh, ninth is going pretty heavy into the factory. Which kind of makes sense when you think about it, though, too. Um, the French, on the other hand, while they do bring some, you know, bang to the table, they're not really being too aggressive about that. No, they got the Pioneers mm. trying to do their sort down south, but the Pack 38 has completely shot it off. Or the shirt here getting some shots on the Panzer II. Oh, it's like the, the shooter's track. been knocked out as well. So Ooh. the Panzer Shrek, had he been just a little bit more fleet of foot, he might have been able to get in range. He still might be able to do it. Yeah, he's going to. That building's going to give him just the right. Oh, yes. And kaboom. Internal fragments, that's just as good. Oh, uh, Nareve in a factory complex. That's, that's not going to be good, especially when Stern Pioneers come in to uh, you know, do the meet and greet. Uh, I am surprised that the French have just basically lost their entire center here. I would have thought they would have maybe gone a little bit heavier into that center. Maybe to put the Pioneers there, it would have been a better yeah. initial position. Yeah, that definitely would have been better. I was definitely very ballsy doing that Pioneer rush down south. Mm -hmm. he, he really needs to keep hold of the factory. It's, it's French. You, you need to get a early A phase advantage to really hold your own or just trade units efficiently. So you're not like completely outgunned and just lose everything by sea phase. It is amusing to me. We do have uh, the flamethrower troop down to the south. I think we barely ever see it. It's Le Flames. And that's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Le Flames, yes. Ooh, Le Mer. Oh, Ooh, it, uh, it is Le Fort Unit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very in vogue. I, I that, apologize for the French. It is how you say yeah. Let your fire. Yeah. Um, and more of them actually coming right back to the center here, so I might be a little bit late for that. Um, and then the wave, well, those guys don't have anything to take out this tank. Yeah. I do want to know he managed to stamp on a reveals and reveals, which is yes. the, the micro in that was incredible. He kept dodging in and out of the buildings before the stamp on a could get like an actual flam shot off, so that's really good micro he had done, sir. Probably also his panda too is still here. And there's a Panzer Shrek, and also Stern Pioneers, which are all pretty scary units to face off still at this time. 
What was amusing as amusing as all get out because that Stuart seemed like it was going to make a rush forwards and then it was like, oh, never mind. Oh, wait, maybe we'll go back that way again. Then he realized at the last second, yes, Panzer Shrek's still in the area. Let's back off and just kind of uh, just hang tight a bit, you know? Yeah, you don't want to be risking that, Stuart. We do have really main push coming in up north with an Areve and Stuart doing its thing. There's still this Panzer II Luke that he's going to contend against, and that's going to require him having to go around the corner. And the Luke's really has advantage due to the two star patronry and close range. Yes, yes, that autocan is quite a beast at this range. Yeah, especially in so it's rather lightly armored. And if and, that wasn't enough, we are going to bring a martyr in too. Oh yeah, it's like Panzer. They can get they can get it was a phase martyrs. It was a uh, very powerful. He's going to be bringing it into the northern area, probably to try and shut that down. And if the Panzer two doesn't kill, yeah, Stuart. God damn it, Marta should. Well, that, that Panzer Grenadier Fuhrer is not quite in, in, in sight range yet, but the Luke says, you know what, I'm going to go after that Nueva, which I think is a better call. Yeah. Let your uh, P Grunts, you know, handle as best as they can, and bring that P2. Ooh, he's in the wrong spot now. Yeah. Oh, wait, he's going to get beautiful. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Had he had it there just a second or two longer, he would have had a beautiful flank shot. Would have been more than enough. Dude, both both of these players, micro, just in the early stages of the matches, is really on point. Yeah, like they're, they're, they're making sure that they only get engagements where they know they can win. I mean, you got the smoke on the pioneer fear to keep him hidden from the rave for a period of time, and now Denster, he's not going to try and be bossy and engage the Panther two Luke's. He's just going to fall back and you know try to wait for reinforcement, which, which is a good call, especially now he has a Marta three on the field. You know, I am surprised we do have Sturm Pioneers inside the factory complex in the eastern side of it, on the German side, really. Yeah. Um, yet, they're not really firing their flames. I don't really know what's going on here. I think they have a minimum engagement distance with the flame for us. Ooh, good point. It's, I, it's, I, I, I never think of that. I know. I, I, I've had it happen to me a few times in matches where I get really close with Sturm Pioneers. Like, what, what, what the hell, guys? You have this flamin' Werther. <laughs> Werther flamin', please. Like, you're going to die. But, yeah, I think it's like... Probably like 25 or 50 meters, maybe. Mm -hmm. Probably. That's, yeah. That seems pretty fair. Pretty, it seems pretty fair. It's, um, it's a 1 in 100 shot. Getting the frame right. 6 pounder is going to go and just get pinned down. So, excuse me, 57 millimeter. But you've converted me. You've converted me into saying it. It's a, 50, it's a 6 pounder at this point. It's, it's a 6 goddamn pounder. It's just. The Americans called it 57. The Americans called it the M run because Americans called everything the M run. You know, I, I do want to make a quick note. We are going to bring a, a M10 up to the north. I had a Ooh. great guy uh, make a comment in the last video talking about the 75mm or 76mm between the Firefly and the Achilles. And the reason that... They, actually, I think the game has it slightly wrong. That it is a 75... For, oh, no, for the Wolverine. That's what it was. Wolverine versus the Firefly. So the Wolverine had 75mm and the, and the Firefly had a 76, I think. Isn't Wolverine 76? It's just American 76 mil. So you have like 17 pound and then you have like an American 76 thing. And according to a viewer the last time, it was a, just a minute, minute change in diameter. Huh. And I don't know if that was just because the Brits just wanted to be unique or the the Americans just being very, very, you know, ornery. Um, as is our way. Um, but either way, it was a really, really interesting thing to see. Six pounder does go down to the south to that damaged P2, which means the southern flank is pretty much open for German domination. Yeah, and he he's gonna be taking a vast jock out over the Panzer II push. I mean, ring ring, it's uh, 1940s, and we're gonna come through Belgium. Indeed, but oh wait, there's an M8 coming in. The spot he's um in there as well, and the M8. Oh, never mind. He's going to the northern side of the canal. Mm -hmm. Okay, not sure it's gonna be going out very well for him. Peak guns are gonna be in the region just in case he oh. wants to get frisky, and it looks like he does want to get a little handsy. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if the Panzer Grenadier managed to get a uh, sneaky little Panzer Shrek shot on the upcoming Greyhound. You know, the nice thing for Den says you managed to get a bit of a hold back in the factory. Just use them from Voter Gears as cannon fodder and Stuart to well do the actual shooty part. Um, I don't think that M10 is going to be with us for very long. Tracks and oh. wheels damaged. Crew's been knocked out. He's just like waffling backwards at this point. He's just. <laughs> And jeez, that Martyr has just been on point. He's fired three shots at him every single time. That doesn't seem to happen with Martyrs unless he goes after a Tank Destroyer. Yeah. I think it's but, just fear, man. You know, the crew's like, sometimes it's like, oh, it's just, an, it's just a Tank Destroyer. We can take that. Yeah. <sighs> an actual legit tank, they freak out. 
Ooh, Bazooka Team Up North does force the bailout on the P2, and I don't think that's going to go very well for Wall Street there. No, he goes down. He's, he's pocket. But this, even though Eugene does definitely have some momentum and an advantage so far in this early A phase, then so he still has bite. He's still kicking back. He's he's holding the northern forest. He's managing to retake factory. And now, if he can contain the southern area, it definitely help out a lot. Yeah, you know, I think he's gonna have a bit of difficulty as the Germans are rather entrenched here. Going well, for that matter too. How about the fact that we're almost at phase B? Oh yeah. Uh, which means we hit phase B. I mean, the the French do get stronger, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure it's strong enough. Yeah, at, at the same time, though, he's only fighting against nine, which is actually a, a really good opponent for French, because the heaviest armor is, like, two tigers. So it's not like... So your French armor really stacks up well, as it's not like you're fighting against first assassin, which by, like, 30 minutes stage will have five panthers on the field. True. It's much more containable, as you're really just fighting... Like Panzer Fours and you know, like less heavily armored German equipment. True, true. So M8, by the way, goes down to the south. We are going to see a six, another six pounder being brought on in. Um, at the same time, though, that that uh, command Volti gear uh, did go and take two Zook shots and took out a P2. So, like you said, the French are trading very well, despite the fact mm -hmm. that they're they're gonna. Yep. Oh, wow, they've even taken back a good portion of the factory complex. I'm surprised there. Yeah, but French, like, I find it, I find it with French, it's all about trading efficiently, because what you can kind of do in the later stages, as I've been kind of experimenting with and just seeing actual multiplayer matches, mm -hmm. is that you just kind of get that death ball of like two star 76 Shermans and like one and like two star 75 millimeter Shermans, and you just kind of like attack move everywhere and just like the veterans you do the talking. I do want to make a quick call. So the flame troop on the south, well, he did have a nice beach front, front property, but it looks like the Germans have just kind of bought that up, too. Yeah. I mean, he could probably kill a panda grenadier. Maybe, that's, maybe. A, that's a tall order. I mean, that's a really tall order. Yeah, if he gets the, if he gets the initial burst, he might be able to. Yeah, but... Panda grenadier doesn't have any veteran so... Oh, no, this is... This is this they're get, they're getting tight. They're getting tight. Come on, come on. I'm, are you watching this too? Because I, I, I might be. I can't look away. I really want to see like these two fierce competitors attack each other, but I don't think that's going to be the case at the moment. Yeah, I think it's just a staring match. Germans have the numbers, French have the flames, and I don't think the Germans really want to go into the Wehrmacht roast any more than they do. Fair point. A oh. a a gun being brought in as well. Interesting call by the Germans. Oh. Like a m crazy crazy a a gun. Yeah, I think he saw the, um, the Spitfire, like, for a second earlier, it's like, okay, they got a Spitfire, we need to just get the AA before anything too crazy happens. Oh, really? I didn't even notice that, okay. Yeah, as a, as a, a Spitfire was briefly brought out on the southern side for, like, 30 seconds or something. I think it strafed something and then buggered off, if I can recall. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, that steward right now is being taken under fire by that quad barrel 20 mil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is the 20 mil. I always, I always think it's a... I want to call it 37 mil. It's just, it doesn't Imagine make sense. Imagine if it was quad 37. Oh my god, at that point... <laughs> I mean, you already have the double run with the flag C killing. Yeah, well, you know what? I can't yeah. wait to see a ZSU for Steel Division 2. Oh, uh, no, no, that's... that's. I know it only mounts 50s. technically. Yeah, it, can, it mounts 50 cals, but I imagine there'd be some crazy, crazy firepower coming out from that. I think I think the ZSU is the 50s can't. No, you're right. No, no, you're absolutely right. It, it is a 50 cal. But they have... No, 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 I mean, like, 19, like, 50s. I think it was post-second war. I know they have... Oh, no, 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 no. Like... There, was a, there was a converted flatbed truck that was, that was the first of the ZSUs. The armored versions of it didn't come out, like you said, until the 50s. There's that There's that Spitfire oh, you were talking okay. about. And Flak. There's the Flak blanket. And that Spitfire's gonna get chased away pretty damn quick, I would think. Yeah. You don't... You don't. Oh, wow. And he's already horses. smoking, too. Jeez. Quad twenties, my bad. The quad forties be even more insane than quad thirty sevens. Hear me out. Quad eighty eight. Oh my just, god. Just saying. Just, just, just saying. You know. That's, With the rapid German fire or nice and slow. <laughs> German super weapons. Save the rule. Um, we are gonna see a P four coming in the center part. With some more embedded up infantry to the north. Okay. So at this point, though, P four. Does it really make sense to bring him into the center of the factory? Should he be displacing to the north or the south? 
I think he's just bringing it up to try and kill that Stuart, because if he can kill that Stuart, then he has a much better chance of dealing with the factory. Well, the engine's destroyed, so he's going to yep. do it. Yep. I mean, it's going to be good if he just keeps it kind of like on the outskirts of the factory. It's going to have a bit of difficulty, of course, getting shot into it. Mm -hmm. And oh, we've got a Pioneer and Sapper fight, and the Pioneers are going to be taking the victory in that run. You know, they can't exactly kill half strengths, but hey, yeah, that's, that's what the Panther Four's for. Very, very true. Yeah. I'd say the Panzer 2, but the Panzer 2 doesn't have any ammo, which is uh, not ideal. Yeah, actually, it's kind of interesting. Neither t side is really, really investing in that um, support side of the equation. And yeah. I didn't really realize either. We have had a mortar out in the field. He's finally getting into action over here from the French side, the 81 millimeter stove pipe. Mm -hmm. um, but is that just, I mean, I think that's just a band aid kind of for the south. Yeah, I mean, French art, French armored artillery has never been amazing per se. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest weaknesses of the deck. True. But uh, you know, one eighty-one millimeters in in this situation is going to help out cry a bit. As any indirect fire support is good indirect fire support. No news is certainly good news. Um, it's definitely news to my ears. But one thing that is kind of negative right now, still for the French, is that they are down 55-45. And like you said, mm -hmm. the French kind of are front-loaded, I would say, until you get to that phase C. And we're still another five minutes until we get to that. Yeah. I think I think it's going to really come down to French trying to get a death ball of, like, a two-star Shermans and trying to push an area. Mm -hmm. And if Reviat succeeds or not, it's really going to be the maker or breaker of the match. As even though you can do that for the French, and it is pretty powerful... You can only really do it once, as you don't have many of those two-star Shermans and one-star Shermans to, to to afford to expend. True. So, I mean, you've got two-star Sherman coming in the middle, and that's actually going to be a pretty good call, especially against that Panzer IV. True. Now, there is a steward going to be showing its flank to this P2, and I want to see this happen because it's... Okay, he's, he's orienting correctly. There we go. Yeah. He might get stressed out first. I don't know. I think oh, internal fragments. Oof, that's that's brutal. There we go. Pack thirty eight. Good shot there. Was that Sherman engaging? I think he's engaging the uh, infantry. He's engaging the Panzer Grenadier. Ah, uh, to the south, right? Yeah. And there's our first hint of artillery from the German side. I'm surprised we didn't see it until now. Yeah, I mean that two. That's, that's an A phase unit. The two star mortar half track is. Mm -hmm. uh, it's such a good unit. We are see Dinster is kind of, um, I'm not going to say lagging here, because he's bringing a 155 in the center part, mm -hmm. which means that that factory is going to get flattened pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. And yeah, he's just doing some blind fire. Maybe he killed the Pioneer. Who knows? We will have to see. That's kind of, you know... The disadvantage of just blind fire, and especially if only 155 millimeter mortars or artillery pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 155 millimeter mortar would be impressive <laughs> as hell. <laughs> we really just want big guns on this cast today. <laughs> we, did, we just we just want like stupidly huge stuff on 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 shootable platforms. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Like pioneers that destroy half tracks with grenades, like up north. What if a pioneer? Yep, pioneer through through like a. A pioneer threw a half track. He threw a half track. He threw a half track full of TNT instead of just throwing a TNT grenades. Well, if that's what works for him, that's what works for him. I mean, um, I mean, it'd have like 20 meter range, maybe. It'd probably take 10 guys quite a bit to throw like a couple ton half track, but. Well, they, 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 they've been working out, man. They want to pump you up. So yeah, Maybe it's to use like a catapult or trebuchet to try and help out too, but. That's pioneers. They can figure out. That's like engineering nonsense. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Um, down to the south, and I realized this. The Germans have been pushed back quite a bit. I guess that Flamen troop for the French was able to take out the Pigrens because, as of right now, we are slowly seeing that. I'm not gonna say death ball that you were saying, but um, oh, we have two Shermans on the field. Yeah, and second, that's really ballsy the Sherman in the fact in the factory. I mean, fortunately, it's only pioneers nearby, but it is a Panzer Grenadier. And still, I wonder if he can actually see the Panzer Grenadier. No, he does not, so... That is, that is risky. It's all that Panzer Grenadier has to do is move up from building, and then, uh, Kablui goes to Sherman. You mean, then whiff completely on the, the Panzerfaust? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm calm like I see it there. 
Uh, Command Sherman to the north, good idea. Actually, it's a second P4 to the north. I didn't see this either, but um, looks like he's going to engage some of that French infantry. Mm -hmm. I really like how both players have been putting pressures on all the flanks, essentially, this entire map. The yes. Entire match. As you always see, you know, I already see tunnel vision. That's just that's just the old vision, and everyone does tunnel vision. I do bloody tunnel vision, but it's nice to see people, you know, pushing all flanks, pushing all sides, because you know you are playing on the entire map, not just one third of it. Agreed. Agreed. Um, I wish I could have something to follow that more wisely, but all I can say is that's true. Oh, ammo storage hit in the south. That Sherman, he's getting really forced that's back. Good. That's that's not bueno. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna survive at least, and he's still, he's still some ammo, so he doesn't have to get the resupply truck immediately, but still, that's a, that's a good hit, the Panda 4. No, the Pack 40 gonna be engaging the 6, uh, the six pounder. And he's gonna have range on the Sherman as he moves up, if he moves up again. Which I don't think would be the case, which is a smart move for Sherman. But here we go, Ninth Panzer. At this point, you are Dinster, what do you do? Uh, keep, keep spamming Panzer Fours, try to retake control of the factory. Flip that, and you're the French. If I was the French? Yes, Dinster. Uh, try to get, like, a death ball of Sherman to put us up north and pray to God that I can do something. Man, you're just in love with that idea of just death ball of Shermans. I, I've seen it happen a few times. And it, oh, of like, course. It works. It bloody works. Because if you just have, like, the concentration of those two Star 76s boosted to three Star Veterancy, goodbye Panthers. That that seems fair, but at the same yeah. time, it looks like the oh, German infantry. On, up north. Yes, but I was thinking to myself, it does kind of seem like the Germans are starting to mass their own armor to the north. There's two P4s moving up. There's one there already, and the Martyr. Like it's that's not going to be an easy ask. Yeah, it is. Damn, it is actually pretty tough. I think we're going to be definitely seeing some medium armor engagements. Quite a lot of infantry here in the C phase. We actually surprised. I wonder. I wonder if uh, Eugene's gonna like try to get a Tiger, Yank Panzer, or if he's just gonna spam more Panzer fours. Because they're all pretty good uh, strategies in this point of the game. Well, one P four is not quite dead yet, but there's a Martin might be able to help him out. So, I think he's sacrificing this half track for uh, a reason there. <laughs> Take me, not him. Well, yeah. I mean, he's he's worth more yeah. than me. I'm. Very, very quickly, um, does give up his life for the, you know, for the French name. Um, and Eugene is not quite halfway to the winning here, but, um, he's certainly well on it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, he's doing pretty good just holding ground. I mean, he had a lovely early on with just taking the factory, putting pressure all over. I mean, he, he's not been able to make, like, huge pushes. I mean, this has been a pretty 50-50 match even though it's like big spikes all over the actual map itself mm -hmm. but just as long as he holds and you know Odin, he he kind of has the economically e eco advantage against french at this point so it's not it's not too tall of an odor just to uh huddle now would you ever not run a deck with any supply trucks whatsoever I would never run a deck with no supply trucks. I would, like, you need supply trucks. And, god damn it, you're right. Where are the supply trucks, Khan? That was even my next comment. It was like, I haven't seen any of them today, and I and I know these players use them. Yeah, Ooh, I mean, is this a, it, another, is, it, is this yeah. a, no, it's another 40 to the north, isn't it? So it's a pack 43, right? Pack 43 up north? The, I think it's just pack uh, 40, I think. It has, I can never remember which half track is which, unfortunately. It's, it's, for Dynf Panzer, they got the red SDKFZ 10 thing, which carries a pack 40, I believe. Yeah, also can carry a pack 43, but just because it's like Panzer and they're, they're very special, Khan. Oh, well, that's what I'm trying to figure out, yeah. They, they you know, they're. They're dinky, or the smaller AT guns get the big AT gun transport treatment. They got they got upgraded to like club class. Ah, table service. Gotcha. Yeah, we got two star Panda four up north. As well as more infantry, and we're starting to see a bit of a death ball up north now. As I was talking about, yeah, it's kind of a death line. Oh, the P4s. One line. of them did go down, and that weapon sham is a bit of a problem here. I guess the martyr died as well. Yeah. But also from Denser, you got two Wolverines and now one of the two Star 76s, which is going to be tough for the Panther Force as they just don't have the range and that two Star 76s is, is brutal, especially considering that 
Pack 43. Pack I assume pack, pack yeah, 40, pack right? 40. Yeah. yeah. And that, that half track's gonna unmask the gun as well, so that, that's yeah. gonna be just fine. Hopefully, Eugene. Is Ooh, involved. never mind. Ooh. Never mind. Never mind. He's gonna get shot. Oh, look at yeah. That stalls it completely. I, I was about to say, the, I thought the half track was shot at by the Pack 40, but now it's a Panzer no. 4. Yeah, the two star Panzer 4. And how often do you see a Panzer 4 actually hit in the first shot? It doesn't seem I to know. ever happen. That is definitely quite a miraculous event. Uh, 76 upgun, though, is to the north M4A3, so that's going to cause quite a bit of issue for the Germans. And the Wolverines, that's going to be a good screening force, but... Yeah. I don't know. I Is that going to be enough to, to match the Pack 40 and Co? I mean, does he have any artillery? He, okay, he has 181mm mortar up north, but he is way off from that Pack 40. If he can yep. knock out the Pack 40... And it should be pretty easy taking this all from Flying Castle to start Panzer 4 here, but he just does not have the range advantage. Oh, net. <laughs> yeah, he goes. Oh, wait, did I just miss something there? Yeah, oh, wow, yeah, jeez. Sure. Panzer 4 just got, uh, it just got deleted. And there goes the damaged oh. Wolverine, though. Yep, That'll... Eugene's gonna be smart. Oh my gosh, oh, engine stall on a P4 just to the east of the factory complex, he's gonna go down. Yep, there he goes. Oh yeah, this is this has just been this. This is the highway to hell. Like I, I would not want to engage <laughs> in this northern side. Look how many, look how many just burning hulks there are. Oh god. Even okay, when when an M four A three backs up because he's been freaked out by getting shot at, that's that's not bueno. That's terrifying, man. Internal yeah. fire. Yeah, like this is this is hell. This is Satan sauna. But there are, there's that P4 concentration is pretty much gone. Mm hmm He really needs to kill up Pack 40. Do you want to do a strafing on there for Spitfire, but, uh... Oh, she's the Mirbo yeah. Wagon, as well as the, the Focke Wolf. That should be a dead Spitfire, I would think. Oh, no, never mind. I know, the Focke Wolf can still get in his ass and, uh... Give him the good old 420mm treatment. Because, but... I, mean, so I don't think... I think he's out of range. It's a problem. Just too late. Yeah. Oh, that's a lucky Spitfire. Yes, it is. Pretty legit, like, pretty lucky Spitfire. The Sappers, I think that you can see the Pack 40 up north now. Yes, he can. So, I mean, if he had artillery or something nearby, he could kill it. Fortunately, he hasn't lost the two star 76 Sherman for Denster. So, mm -hmm. that's, that's really keeping him in the game up north. I mean, look at that Marta 3. He's just buggered off because you don't fight two star 76 head on. You don't win for him, any, that's for sure. Nope. Um, second 155 from the off maps called in by Dinster, and he and at long last we do see a GMC down to the south. Not Ooh. that he's given anybody any kind of uh, munitions, no, but he's, he's there at least. I mean, he's just uh, you know, he's a little bit late to the party. You know, he, he came in like after the party's already finished with like a box of pizza. I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> hey it's, guys, who wants to get together? <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's already like left. I mean, the fort is nice. Is you know, the fort counts, and you know, Peter's already welcome. But it's just we could have been here during the life of the party when when he could have been MVP. No, he's the, he's the DD at the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about yet, folks, go to uni. Then you understand. <laughs> the sermon DD. Yes, yes, there we go. The Sherman is the DD <laughs> of every party. Okay, so you know, it's going to be a battle of the tank destroyers, by the way. Oh, wait, the Fock Wolf is trying to cheat, and he yeah, he causes that cheat to happen. I think we're going to see a dead M10. I don't, I don't, I don't, Messerschmitt, what's, it, what's he doing on the Messerschmitt? He's he was, he was going to, he was going to um, make a rocket run at it, but the Mortar 3 should be able to take out the Wolverine oh. and does. Uh, we do get the Mortar, the Mortar finally in range, but he's trying to engage that, uh, you know, Pack 40 to the north. And I guess I never really appreciated the rockets on this um, this Messerschmitt. I always... I really love that rocket plane Messerschmitt. As even though it, like, it doesn't, like, kill the unit immediately, it leaves that, you know, lovely little burny after effect that usually ends up getting you to kill. And he's going for the mortar. Good call. Cool. Yes. And... Doesn't do much damage initially, but if the mortar falls back into the napalm, you know, he roamed, so... I mean, he definitely gave him a good old fright. 
That's one thing I always need to get better at using is the rocket planes. I keep thinking to myself, oh yes, they are actually anti-vehicle. And it's like, no, they are never really anti-vehicle <laughs> unless you have like the... Like huh? I was going to say, yes, that is the one time where it is. It's very much the rang um, approved method oh, for yeah. killing tanks. Dude, in my sixth airborne deck, I have six Typhoon ATs. Yeah, you you like you like having be hurricane season. You're you're all about that. I love it, man. Like, you know, you're playing like a team match. You're six airborne. You have a buddy's like, hey, I'm being pushed over here by like five Panthers. Sure, bud. Just just hold up. I got the Royal Air Force on the hotline. Well, and speed dial. And at that point, um, you're a tornado, and they are the trailer park. Exactly. <laughs> now, one thing I'm actually, I kind of wish, and I, this is just, of course, just a, a random lark at this point. I almost wish the GMCs, like the uh, the support weapons, could refill our Ar arty barrages. I oh, almost crap. do. I think it'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, wouldn't you want to have a two uh, a two use Freddy party? That'd be pretty. That'd be pretty cool. But at the same time, I can just imagine like. The abuse. Naval of yeah, it, it'd naval be abuse as all man. hell, but it's just like, it'd be insane. <laughs> it'd, just, it'd just be literally rolling thunder. It's just constant. Just, it'd, be, it'd be kind of... It'd be absurd. Oh, it would be absurd. You can call it yeah. that. That's fine. Um, Now, we are going to see Nabuzier and yeah. Poirier 3 to the north. And oh. I never know if I'm saying that correctly, but I... What does that even mean? Nabuzier? Yeah. Um, that's I'm gonna, I'm not you. This right now. Go for it. I'm gonna say it's probably something like a howitzer. Uh, probably. That sounds. That's probably like howitzer. Let's see. O B U S N E R. Country of origin, France. Yeah, it means howitzer. There we go. There we go. Problem mystery solved, folks. One o five. Yeah, that makes sense. Because that's the that's the howitzer up gun. Yeah. And there's the Tiga. Oh, Tigo's on the map, but he's to the south. Uh, big cats don't like water, so I'm not sure how often he's going to go and cross this canal. That is definitely an interesting choice, because he could definitely do a breakthrough down south, and, you know, Tigo's uh, kind of designed for a whole breakthrough tank thing. He, he needs a little bit more with the Tiger, a little bit more you know, meat to uh, cover the big fat cat. Well, the meat's there. Well, it's more like potatoes, really. And it's a small yeah. potato with that, with the P1. Um, which I think, actually, I do like the fact that he's on the southern side. Usually, I don't really understand when anyone goes to the south of the canal. Mm -hmm. But you have to remember, he's at a 1200 meter range, and with the P1 to spot, he should be able to engage in nearly anything. Yeah, from... and also is... Yes. There's nothing on the southern side, so it's exactly. clear. Exactly, and that was the other point I was going to make, exactly. Sorry. No, no, please, by all means. Okay. M4A3 is on the prowl to the north. Looks like he's going to go for that mobile falcon. Maybe. Um, uh, Herbal, Spitfire gonna go down? Not quite. Ooh, M43 gonna get shocked instead. P4 went down instead. Wow. So P4 for Spitfire, and I don't know who came out better on that in that particular trade. I like your soft map artillery right on the mortar half track. I mean, I could I could potentially kill both you, especially if the supply truck goes kablooey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're not be surprised by that at all. Yeah. So 15 seconds until the big booms. I find it hilarious that Denso's supply truck has not used a single, like, supply. But he's, he's falling like, back, though, so he's seen combat, man. <laughs> he's seen the other side of war. <laughs> he's gonna get his purple heart. Oh, another Tiga to the north as well. So, even if... Oh, two Tigas. Yeah. They are not endangered, my friends. They, apparently, their species is alive and well. Yeah, but those are the only two Tigas that Eugene can get. So, it's gonna be rather important keeping them alive, but considering... I mean, the only scary thing north is Denser's 76, and in a one-on-one, -on -one, Tiga has advantage. Yeah. 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 Maybe not so much in the armor. I mean, they do have the slight advantage in the armor, but... Ooh, wow. Wait a second. Okay. M482 in the, in the factory complex took out the mortar half-track. It looked like with a machine gun, but I believe it was out in an AP round. I was be very, very upset if it was just, a, like, a machine gun. But, um, the last one being used in the pack 40 to the south. We are finally seeing a bit of a push here happening from the French. Yeah, we do have the 76 and gates on the Tiger, but the, yeah, they got the Falker Wolf doing the strafing run, and, uh, yeah, that goes the 76, Shaman. And I imagine yeah. so will that half track in a second. Oh, half track yeah. gets out of range just quickly enough. 
Dude, lo losing that Sherman was a pretty big deal. I mean, he's got the second run, the two star coming in down south. So he's trying to use that to try and kill the Tiger on the southern flank, but he he needs he need more than one tank. He's got Stuart to help out, but Stuart's not, not exactly, uh, I mean, you can kill a Tiger, but it's not, not ideal. Okay, if, it, if the Stuart kills a Tiger, it, his name has to be Fitman. That's how that works. <laughs> a Panzer run is uh, not going to be seen on a fit anymore. Oh, he just went down to D. Yeah, he's kind of like, he, he's frolicking through the field and then the 76 Sherman just decided to stop out nonsense. The down south at Tiger, I mean, he's in a really exposed spot. And, I mean, he's also facing the wrong ray. So, maybe, I doubt it. I bet, I bet the Tiger will turn around fast enough, but... If he's engaging the Sherman, no, no, okay. That'd be you... Real. Oh, jeez. Okay, the Tiger's turning around to face the Stuart, so... Slightly. Well, no, he's at a 45, so we're not going to get the same kind of armor values necessarily. And so, Rocket Plane looking for that Command Sherman, a P4 moving in for the kill. And the Flames is going to do the damage? Well, even if yeah, it doesn't, one, one round should be enough to freak him out if it doesn't kill already. Yeah, that's a dead Sherman for sure. And the Tiger is going to be pulling back, which is smart, considering you have no recon in front of you. No, no nothing. So you, you don't want to be breaking through yet. I didn't realize until just now, the French have had a 57% yeah. territory control. The problem is, there's only five minutes left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I mean, it's cool that they're making territory now, especially considering that the French usually lose steam. Oh my god, is this bazooka up north? I don't think... No, the Tiger's out of range. Oh. I was actually watching to the south. The M4A3 is engaging the Tiger. <laughs> and forcing him back. He, I think he wounded oh, the driver God. and then wounded the, the, the shooter. Did he manage to get first shot going around the corner? Uh, Tigo was engaging that Sherman to the north. Oh, God. That is... It was a really good kill with the 76. And they've got Stuart up north. He's going to say hello to his half-track trying to... Uh... Oh, my God. The Tigo just went down. Up oh, north? No, south. Okay. I missed that. I just I looked away for one second and I was like, oh jeez, alright. It's still, still one, you know, in day oh, yeah. tiger. That's true. Up north. Maybe they can it's... save the species. <laughs> Whereas well, that's the only one left, so they can't reproduce in this scenario. They can clone the it. They clone the tiger. <laughs> it's like at um it's like a uh, zoo tycoon game, but with the expansion pack, so you could like clone dinosaurs. Ah, I'll do you one better. 90s game called Dino Park Tycoon is a business simulator. You could run like Jurassic Park but without Jurassic Park. That sounds pretty cool. It was fantastic, man. It's actually free to play. Just search Dino Park ah. Tycoon and play. It's amazing. And it's super simple, too. Um, Spahi's down to the south. Not too much. Pigren, fire your Faust, my friend. Yeah, it's just a smidge just too far. A smidge too far. Well, it's not really a bridge. So it's on the wrong side <laughs> of it, really. It's a smidge. <laughs> <laughs> Got more to free coming in down south to try to uh stem the bleeding. Stem the bleeding. I mean he's Denso he's getting really close with his plus two. He needs a plus three to really take the big tree. Preferably a plus four. But I don't I don't see that happening. Stuart goes down, that's a big loss. And I Oh my gosh, the Zuka is moving on to the prowl to the north though. Dun 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 Oh god, the tiger's completely bloody blind. Uh, yes, he is. <laughs> I'm, I'm zooming in. I'm watching this. I have to watch this. And hide the HUD. Dude, this is like me. Shot! Oh, he just barely misses Whoa. to the side. You are one lucky tiger, buddy. Got a second shot. Knees recalms are heavy. Nope. Nope. <laughs> and that was, that was the reload, and that really shouldn't be... Yeah. Yep, there we go. Pin. That is that's 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 me in postscript from when I just choked the anti tank shot. Uh, and yet he's letting him live for, uh, to another yeah. day. Wow, he's a very very kind predator. Yeah. Um, Stuart Stuart's gonna predator. engage too. Engage off to one side, Stuart. You have a new lease on life right now. <laughs> I don't think uh, uh, he's facing you now. You know, it's it's just not like it's just not tight deal for the tiger. <laughs> Well, he sees him. I'm not sure why he's not engaging him, but he sees him. 
And he, this is such a weird tight. Okay, AI right now is just it's making me cringe. Oh God, you're showing your side armor. I mean, yeah, okay, you have like nine side armor, but he's showing his still... rear armor for that matter to the bazooka. And then he re he reverses into a tree line. Yeah. How bizarre. Okay, there we go. I think he just did that. Weapons jammed. Line, sure. <laughs> no, he did though. I like I was looking over at Eugene. Oh. He didn't know what kind of tank it was, but he knew the tank existed. Cool. And here's the question: Will the spot troop be able to help him out before the Zook takes his fatal last round here? Zook's <laughs> gonna do it again. Oh no, he sees. I think the mobile. Oh, never mind. The mobile rank actually acting as like a recon unit. Yeah. Oh no, it's a spot troop after all, I believe. Yep, I think that's what it was. Yeah, because you know this is where you get recon guys. So bazookas don't just walk right in front of your tanks in the middle of the day. Uh, Obusier takes a couple of deflections here. Yeah. And despite the fact that the French are getting that plus two and the Germans are pretty much tapped out, I would not so much an infantry per se, but they're probably down to very, very little. Obusier goes down. Yeah, it's really quite interesting seeing how the Germans are just completely out of stuff at this, at this point. I, I remember, I'm, I'm interested to see the KD ratio, see how the uh, trade in rolls in terms of, you know, kills to death. I think, I, I'm thinking at this point, Denser is probably coming out on top. Yes, especially with losing things, the high values like target other uh, the Tigas, for example. Yeah. And he's knocked out a lot of Panzer IVs. Like I don't see yes. any more Panzer IVs. I've got one down south. Hmm. Yeah, I think he's probably lost five or six to that northern side. Yeah, that's a lot of Panzers for me. Oh yeah, I think we have two uh, six pounders being brought into the north. It's like okay, you know what? We couldn't do it with a Stuart. We couldn't do it with a Zook team. Let's get the let's do anti tank guns at it. Okay. Um, You're close enough. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's totally a viable option. I just don't know if it yeah. doesn't have it's thirty seconds until the end of the game, though. So. Yeah, it's a bit. Stuart goes down, and there's going to go like three percent of the territory. Ari's flying is like the last minute or two. It's pretty pointless to buy ground units. You should just buy an aircraft unit and just hope for the best. Yep, I would have to agree. Yeah. Tiga is going to get first shot, I think, over the charging Sherman. Oh, no, he goes after the mortar. I never really realized how good the, the Tiga actually is at killing infantry. And it's so, it's such a good fire support vehicle. Like, the Panther is more of your dedicated tank killer. Mm -hmm. But the Tiga is like, you know, if you if you want, like, more than just tanks dead, the Tiga is really good. And KD is uh, almost bang close. on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, take a look at the history here. It's 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 exchanging back and forth for the most part. There's yeah. a couple of drips and drafts where it's like, oh look, it's like five or six of one color or the other. Yeah, but that was really good play from both sides, and Eugene is going to be moving on to the next round of um of the final stages. So yeah, pretty pretty exciting stuff we got. Uh, coverage, hopefully soon. Yeah, we need to. Oh, hey, as the games happen, folks, you'll know yeah. about that as well, of course. Yeah. Um. Shockingly enough, not really a whole lot of standouts on the German side other than the Tiga and a P4. Other than that, it's, it's just it's, it's a couple of guys here and there. Um, pretty yeah. much the same thing with the French, too. The French have a couple of um, Shermans that do very, very well for themselves. Mm -hmm. And that's roughly it. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sad. I mean, neither side was like too like, heavily focused on like, certain super special units. You know, it's, all, it's all like pretty mediocre armor stuff, all pretty... You know, everyone's going to be sharing the labor type thing. Sound? Well, you know, and that's the way, too. You want everyone to, it's, you know, many yeah. hands make the load light, right? Yeah. It's also, it's also it's also better to have, like, three mediocre things and one really good thing. Because if you lose the one really good thing, you get very sad. But if you lose one mediocre thing, you got two mediocre things left. Sounds like me with my Christmas money. <laughs> But all right, folks, um, yeah. we'll see you on Thursday, I think, with just some more to Steel Division play overall. So come yeah. back, check it out, and um, I guess we'll see you soon, won't we, Ryan? Indeed. All right, I'm Con Ulrich. I'm Rangaroo. Take it easy.